What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Lagunitas Brewing Company, Petaluma, California, and Chicago, Illinois. This is their Tuberfest Marzen. Uh, this has been sitting in my fridge for a little while now, so I wanted to uh, get it in before freshness became too much of an issue. Uh, this is part of their, uh, what they call their one-hitter series, which seems like they're uh, kind of one-off, a little more of an experimental series. Uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of information on the Lagunitas website on this beer right now. I think on account that it was probably released uh, late summer, early fall. And the website, at least for the One Hitter series, has kind of moved on to uh, their current releases, currently available releases, and some stuff coming up. So not so much information on the website. I did find a commercial blurb on uh, Beer Advocate. And they say the Tuberfest is a smooth and malty lager that is ca counterbalanced with some delicious Pacific Northwestern Idaho number no. seven hops, giving it a cedary herbal zing. Brewed to jumpstart your salubrious slide into late summer. It is 7.5% ABV. All right, nicely fits in the glass. A uh, nice yellow gold, uh, not yellow gold, orange gold color. Maybe pushing into a light copper, but uh, very definitely orange highlights as I hold it up to the light. A uh, good finger, finger and a half worth of head there. Uh, pretty little beer, almost no carbonation uh, coming up through the glass. I can see just a few bubbles, and uh, it is pretty well see-through. So, let's get to it. Uh, certainly is herbal. Certainly is smooth. Certainly is malty. Little bit of a sweet component to it. I'm trying to trying to find that. Almost kind of a. Hmm. Definitely some some woody notes and some kind of some floral notes. Some I don't want to say grassy, but green notes to it as well. Almost like a not necessarily like green grass per se, but more uh, weeds weeds in a field kind of a deal or lo or longer. Longer, more wild grass, maybe, is probably a better descriptor. Quite tasty. I, the sweet note, I'm still trying to place it. My mind wants to go to, like, a maple syrup or a brown sugar kind of a thing, but I don't know if that's really what it is. I think my mind's just maybe making up things. It's a mild sweetness in the front. Maybe like a wild honey to go with the 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 grassy field notes. Hmm. It's not sugary, it's not I can I can tell you what it's not. It's not sugary, it's not berry like. But what it is exactly, frankly, is eluding me. But just kind of some some kind of naturally sweet component in there. Let me try to move on past that sweet note. <coughs> Excuse me. But a lot, lot of a lot of good things going on. Really, it's a uh, nice multi backbone, but a lot of different kinds of flavors going on. 
as I said, wild greens and the, the those wild greens really kind of linger through the entire tasting experience and really even into the uh, the aftertaste a little bit. Uh, d- different beer than uh, than normal. I I probably could have thrown this into my uh, Oktoberfest series way back way back when because it is uh, considered a a Mars and Oct- slash Oktoberfest beer. Um, it would have been very different from anything I've had. It does not have again any of those uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice kind of deal. Doesn't have any of that. It's just a very it's a, a very kind of natural beer overall. Very green. Excuse me. Pardon me. You know, very, very green, very wild, very natural. So it really makes for a different drinking experience from a lot of the, a lot of the things in the the, the Marzen style, the Lager style. So really, really neat entry from Lagunitas. So that is the, the Tuberfest, and that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. You can also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find usernames and links to all those in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.